The program we're going to use for AP programming this year is called NetBeans. NetBeans is a program that uh, you can download for free. It may take a little bit. You need to download the latest JDK with it. Uh, if you have any specific questions about that, uh, feel free to ask. This allows you to program at home. You can program along with my videos at home and uh, so forth. So get started. We're going to look just real simply today at system.outprintline. Pretty simple uh, beginning. So we're going to go up here to new project. And you're going to, I downloaded the full version here on this computer. Um, for the most part, we're always going to be using Java, Java application. At least for the beginning, we're going to use that. Gives you the option to name it. Now, historically, I've seen students not rename their projects and they have no clue what they're doing. This is bad. So we're going to call this, I'm going to call this print line demonstration. And what this is allowing me to do is it is allowing me to name the project. And if you look down below, it's also saying create main class, which we're going to leave that check mark for right now. Project location is going to save it in my documents folder. Project folder has a separate folder for it in the documents folder. And in the NetBeans project folder in the documents folder. That's perfectly fine. We're just going to hit finish. And it's going to take a little bit to load usually because it builds a bunch of stuff behind it. Um, and then that beans here, I'm showing you that on line 5, it's going to have the name of the package, which you see is the name of what we called it, but it's all lowercase. That's fine. That's the way it's supposed to be. In addition, if I scroll down to line 11, you see public class print line demonstration with the print line and demonstration capitalized. That's the way it should be. And then in line 16, public static void main inside the parameters of string arguments, string args. We're going to leave that alone right now. We will explain what the, all of that means later. For right now, oh, and you also see both kinds of comments which we'll explain later. For right now, we just go down to line 17 and we just simply type. So to make something show up on the screen, we're just going to go system dot out dot print line. And then when I type a parenthesis, it puts a second parenthesis and a semicolon. This will actually run right now. It will just run nothing. It will show up as nothing. It will just have a blank line which is here and then say build successful in zero seconds. So what we want to do is we want to go back in and we want to add text. Now the catch is we want to add text inside quotations. This is going to create a literal string of text that will show up. Say I will say hello class. This is fun. And it will literally show up as hello class. This is fun. Now, print line means that it will print a line of text. And then once it reaches the end of that text, it will be like if we're in Word and it hits enter, it will go down to the next line. So, what we could do is I could put in a blank print line to put a space in between and then say this is your first assignment. Put the end quotation or the end parenthesis and the end semicolon. It will then literally print that blank line in between and you can follow that same pattern within the quotation marks you can also hit the tab key and it will literally space out tabbing so here's that example 
the final example, well, two final examples, is it'll also, if you forget, to, or if you don't put the quotations, you don't forget, you intentionally leave them out, it'll do math for you. System dial print line, three times three. I need to put the semicolon at the end. The semicolon tells the program that that is the end of this statement and it gets to move on to the next statement. It'll do the math, three times three. What I can also do, though, is put that all in the same line. So I'll do a system dot out dot print line. I can combine text and math. So the answer to three times three is hit a space, go on the other side of the quotation and type in three times three. Put my seven colon after. It wants me to put in the a plus sign to say plus we're going to do this. So that plus sign isn't doing math yet. And then I'm just going to hit run and it gives me the correct answer. The answer to 3 times 3 is 9. So this plus sign allows the program to have some literal text then take either math, or we're going to use this a lot with variables, and plug it in. And then I can go on the other side and say plus, put some string, put a period to make the period show up after 9, hit a space, and say, isn't that fun? And it will show up just like I had there on the program. So... What your first assignment is going to consist of tomorrow is making some different things just using the system.outprint line. Pretty simple? Yes. Things to remember is you want to make sure you're typing it after this public static void main information. And you want to be inside these things, which are called braces. These are called braces. Notice when I click on them, how they line up. So this brace lines up, the second brace here lines up to the main brace. And this first brace here, you can see it pop up up top here, and I'll go up as well to it, lines up with the public class. Don't worry about why right now, just know you need to type in between. And there's your lesson for the first day.